Sam. What what were we talking? The about? blooming issues on the iPad mm. are killing me. So just seeing everyone post about them, like, and we just got a new report about, yeah, uh, Apple like going to ship <sighs> OLED iPads possibly next year. But I we, don't understand. Okay. Why is this iPad so fucked? You're up? looking. You're looking a little flaccid there, bud. I <laughs> do, how do you need far a Bluetooth? Can I go back. This is how I feel. This is what Apple gave me with the iPad. <laughs> Yo, can we just take a minute that this mini LED was supposed to be the biggest upgrade in years in the screen? And honest to God, I do. I'm currently leaning because I got the 11 and 12.9 inch. I am mm-hmm. leaning on keeping the 12.9 inch model, but it is not necessarily because of the display. The display to me, I think to most people is marginally better. I've heard some people describe it as like exceptional or just insane. I think it looks good. I think it looks better than the 11 inch, but in almost every case scenario, it just looks about the same. Mm-hmm. It looks about the same. And the fact that they're charging you $100 more, and then we get this crazy report, which by the way, is not the first time we've heard this. We've heard right. this multiple times from different mother truck and sources now that they're switching away from mini LED next year. I feel like they just got too far away from themselves where they're like, you know, they had so many <laughs> mini LED panels and that was already in the plans yeah. for the for the new iPad, but then they realized how terrible it is and they're like, nope, OLED, going to OLED. Yeah. But now well, it's too Apple's late. had a secret testing facility uh, we saw photos of years ago of mini LED and how they're going to put mini LED on the new MacBook Pros as well, which I am led to believe these MacBook Pros will suffer from the exact same issues. Dude, I, I, <sighs> people told me I was crazy because my iMac, I have display issues with my iMac. Hmm. Backlighting issues where it just like, it looks washed out a lot. And uh, when I turn the lights off in the room, it's, it's very noticeable. Whoa. The corn I'll send you a picture. The corners yeah. of my you iMac like it. are hot spots. So they're really washed out and like lit up. They look like they look like the mini LED blooming issue. And so mm. I don't understand what happened with displays this year for Apple. Dude. Because I tweeted, it's I was weird. like Is my display washed out or is it just me from my new iMac? And everyone's like, nah, man, you're crazy. It's the best display ever. No. And now I have all now you have a bunch of other people coming out being like, uh, my iMac display is all fucked up, and yeah. So I don't know if some people got a perfect display, or if they're all like this, and people are just blind and can't see it. I mean, mine has looked okay. I, I to be fair, I have not used it extensively. I only edited the first video on my <laughs> and iMac. You're gonna return it like an asshole. Well, did I ever finish and, and tell you what I was gonna do? I, I'm gonna buy the the base iMac. You so did I'm just say gonna that. get the. But you're not even gonna buy it in yellow. Yeah, yeah, we we did talk about this. I'm, I'm having short term memory from all this blue chew talk, you know. <laughs> um, okay, so- I I am confused by the iPad though, and I just want it to be clear. And I'm getting really worried with us hearing nothing functional about iPad OS 15. And I just, John, I just have this feeling that it's going to be a super small upgrade and that nothing's going to be addressed. Because why would Apple change? What You know, I'm starting to think back. Why is the M1 the thing that's changed Apple's mind? Every single year since Apple started calling the iPad a computer, every single person in tech has been like, yeah, it's good, but like still a lot of shortcomings. And nothing has fundamentally changed about the platform. I mean, we've gotten a slightly better files app or we've gotten the 12.9 inch screen size, you know, to make the iPad more comparable to a computer, yet nothing fundamental has changed. And Apple just seems terrified to do something dramatic here. And I'm not sure why. Um, they're also like, oh, and and iPad and Mac are very different platforms. Mm-hmm. So we're not going to confuse them there. And it feels like Apple is just absolutely petrified to try something new. And I do not have the confidence that this year we're going to see something, especially with the the fact that Mark Gurman, the, the only source that's really given us any information for iOS 15, iPad OS 15 rather, has said, oh yeah, you'll be able to like move widgets on the home screen. They might be interactable. But his, he, that, he hasn't said that's, that's the only thing need. coming though, right? No, that's he's just, just what that's he's a thing. confident enough to say. Yet... I'm concerned that that's the big thing we're hearing. Mm. And I don't have the confidence. Maybe I'm going to eat my words, but you know, we, we, we said it was when the 120 Hertz display was going to come. That's a pro feature. This will be more pro device. Ah, still doesn't really mm. feel like it. We said it was going to be with the new Apple pencil. Yeah. The latency is great that it's a pro device in some ways, but it just doesn't manage files. Well, there's one port on it. 
the battery life has remained at 10 hours. What? Well, why is the iPad's battery life still at 10 hours when the new MacBooks get 20 with the M1? Mm -hmm. uh, there, there's so many things that just feel like the iPad is behind. And I want to love it. I've been using, I got my 12.9 inch with mini LED back and I've been trying to use it and I'm trying to love it. But iOS and iPad OS, which is just iOS, you know, they change the name. It's the same thing. The name change is another huge point here. They changed the name to iPad OS. Yet again, what has changed? Fundamentally <laughs> nothing. Maybe some will disagree <clears throat> with me, but I don't know of that. Okay. Here's, here's a counterpoint. Trackpad support. That was a fundamental change to iPad OS. Mouse and cursor, the magic keyboard. It feels more like a laptop though. It doesn't feel yeah. just like a better iPad. I, where, where do you stand in all of this? I mean, are you looking for more out of your iPad? Are you happy that it's more of an iPad OS base than a Mac OS base or that you can't put Mac OS on here? I mean, I definitely don't want Mac OS to be on the iPad, but I do, you know, I do want restrictions to be lifted a bit, especially if they're selling me hardware that, you know, makes it feel less limited like the hardware you're you're buying what you would assume oh okay this is like this getting me like 75 percent of the way to a macbook except it's portable it's an ipad and i can use it as an ipad and get all those benefits too and usually when apple does stuff like this there is a second where things don't make sense but then you give it a month or so and then an event like dub dub happens and then it all makes sense what i'm scared of is that it doesn't make sense now. And then at WWDC, they're like, uh, you know, the widgets, and that's it. And then it yeah. still doesn't make sense. And the, here's a bigger issue. Even if, by some miracle, they do lift some restrictions, and you get some really cool iPad OS stuff, like you get pro apps, um, maybe they lift the RAM cap from 5 gigabytes since you bought a machine with 16 gigabytes of RAM. Mm -hmm. They announced that at WWDC, but the public release of that won't be out until later, later this year. And yeah. so, and by that time, assuming you bought your iPad, 16 gigabyte iPad, M1 iPad, you know, on launch day, you have spent the majority of its first year of life without any of the features that they're going to promise you at WWDC. And that's, that's another problem with, you know, I'm sure there are people that bought this iPad based on the promise of what it could be, which is always a mistake. I've, I've been saying that mm -hmm. for years, not to buy you know a, a, a product based on a software promise. And that's the troubling thing, is that even if, even if they give us some sort of amazing iPad OS update, if you bought an iPad Pro on launch day, unless you are, you know, you're signed up for developer betas and stuff like that, you are not going to get any of those benefits until way later into the life of that iPad. And by yep. that time, you're going to be like a few months away from a new iPad. So well, it's six months away. Yeah. So that's, I mean, June, <sighs> July, August. I mean, four, I mean, four I'm months not, away. I'm if not it comes saying that every, September. Yeah. I'm not saying that everyone, you know, buys a new iPad every year, but you still spent six months with your brand new iPad that has the M1, 16 gigabytes of RAM with software that doesn't enable you to do anything with that for six months. I agree. It makes no sense. The and I want to, you know, the iPad's in a really weird spot and a part of me wants to have confidence that, you know, obviously there's a bigger plan here and we just got to wait. We got to be patient. But what if <laughs> what if there isn't? And, and even more deeply thinking about the iPad Pro as a product. Like it's like, "Oh, they put the M1, which is a <sighs> I mean, the M1 is not a pro chip. But they're putting in the iPad Pro. Um, and this is a realization I've had recently, which is, let's say Final Cut does come. Let's say that Logic does come. This is Apple's chip that's in the MacBook Air. And, yeah. and we're calling this the iPad Pro, but really the processing power is the same as their base entry-level laptop. I mean, it is, I mean, but for an iPad, though, it is the highest-end iPad. And that's what it Pro is stands the for, the highest of that category, right? Yeah, it just because I, I don't really know who the iPad Pro is for. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, listen, I have it because it's the best iPad. That is why I've bought it. Do I need it? No. W would I ever actually <laughs> Ladies and do gentlemen, Pro this is the same person to shit on me just like 20 minutes ago about buying not the Pro level stuff, by the way. 
No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you want to put, you want to put, no, no, no. Let me finish. <laughs> you pull this bullshit. Of, I want to get a little baby MacBook Air, and it's, you know what? You, it's probably because it's going to come in colors too. I want to do a little. I want to get a little baby MacBook Air to do little baby MacBook Air shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>